This is your views. I'm going to be showing you how to overclock the HP Compact Mini 311. First, you have to go onto this link, which I'll provide in the description, and then you want to scroll down to where it says Instructions. You can see here. And the first step says Download and install the OC Tuner software from this link. And you want to click on that link and click Open, or you can save it if you want. By the way, you need WinRAR for this. You can get the free trial version from the link I'll provide in the description. And then just open the folder and then open the exe. And then just click next, 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 and install. And then it should start installing it. Once that's installed, you just want to uncheck this box because you don't want it to open yet. Just click finish and you can cross that. And then it would have installed the ASRock OC Tuner, but we don't want really to use that yet. The next step is to go to the install path, program files, ASRock utility, OC Tuner, and open the ASRock.ini file. So we want to go onto our, my computer here and open local disk then program files and azrock utility then oc tuner and then we have to find the file called azrock.ini and here's the file here then you want to open it now once that's open you want to go back into that link and the third step is to add this line under support model if you want to copy this line here and you want to paste it underneath support model on this so you just click enter and then paste it as you can see there is pasted underneath support model and then you can just save changes to that and then the next step is to download the attached file on this website so as you can see the attachments is the iron.ini you just want to download that and save it in your desktop. Now once that's done, you want to get that file, the iron.ini, and drop, drag it and drop it into the OC Tuner folder, the same one as the ASRock one. So you can drop it in there, and there it is. And then you can cross this now. And then you want to click on the ASRock OC Tuner application. It might take a while to load. And once that's open, we can start overclocking the CPU. And here it shows the CPU frequency. And it's at 133 right now. We need to change it to 150. So you just want to keep clicking up to 150 and then click go. And then you see this change. Now it's at 1.8 gigahertz. And you don't want to do more than 1.8 gigahertz because it's not safe to do it more than that. So yeah, that's it. Now you can just cross the application, and now your CPU is overclocked. So thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.